for left-handers and how much damage he's done this year, and we chose to go that way. Any concern because he hasn't had an at-bat? Yeah, there's time? there's some concern, um, which was part of the reason I had him take about seven or eight at-bats yesterday to try to, you know, so he'd get used to that, you know, velocity and, and seeing movement on pitches. So um, there's some concern. Other questions? Over right here. Joe, in the last series, uh, the Yankees did an admirable job of quieting the bats of the Indians. Um, how do you expect, what, what kind, of, kind of challenge do you expect that might be against this offense, the Astros, which not only led the league in offense, but also came off of a, a very hot opening yeah. series? I mean, we know it's challenging. You have to make your pitches. Um, and you have to make pitch after pitch. You can't give them free base runners. You can't walk people. You can't make errors because they are so dangerous. You got to, you know, you got to pay attention to their aggressiveness on the base paths. I mean, there's a lot of things that you have to do to this offense to try to contain it. So, it starts with, you know, quality pitches, getting ahead, and not letting them get in counts where they can really do a lot of damage. Other questions, Ken, right here. Joe, the 2012 team won the division series in five games, but not coming back down 0-2. Just wondering, how much do you look at? Uh, we guys that are kind of riding a wave now off of uh, the five game series versus just trying to manage any any exhaustion. Yeah, you know when when you talk about trying to manage exhaustion, I I, I think the emotions of, of playing in the playoffs negates a lot of that. You know, it's it's different if it's the regular season and you get in at five o'clock in the morning and you and you're playing. We had a night off and, and guys had a chance to run around yesterday and to try to get some of that out of them and. And probably went to sleep fairly early last night. But I, I think the excitement of this is, is what carries you through. It's, it's your adrenaline. And, um, you know, being down, you know, 0-2 to Cleveland and being able to come back, I think, you know, is, is obviously it's a, a tremendous feat. But, you know, it, it allows your guys to understand that you have the ability to come back. And I think that's important against a really good team. I mean, we faced a really good team in the Cleveland Indians. And... You know, one game at a time, and, and and just take it from there. Meredith, Joe, how vital a role do you think the bullpen will play in this series, and how pleased were you with the way they elevated their game in the ALD? Well, I, I I think it's been a formula for us, you know, since we really made those trades. But really, for a long time here, the bullpen has been extremely important, and we added depth in Robertson and Canley, and the emergence of Green has has really helped us out. Um, and I think they're going to play a vital role, uh, again, because this is a team that, you know, they, they, they talk about, you know, working pitchers, but they talk about getting your pitch. And so if we make quality pitches, you know, hopefully we can get ahead of them and they don't do a lot of damage. But I think your bullpen is going to be really important in this series. In the second row, Joe. Joe, how much time did you find yourself spending on trying to figure out how to keep Jose Altuve off the base pass? <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I think that, Obviously, he's a tremendous player. Um, but there's a lot of guys in that lineup. You got to figure a way to keep off the bases, not just him. Um, I mean, they've had guys that have had great years. They have four or five guys that are near 90 RBIs or above 90 RBIs. They're, they're, they have a couple others in the 70s. I mean, they're just a complete lineup, and I think they can beat you in so many ways. So, I think that. Your focus has to be one hitter at a time. It can't be, okay, we can't let this guy beat us because they have about eight or nine guys that can beat you, and that's why it's it's a tough lineup to navigate through. Over here in the second row. Uh, Severino really bounced back after the wild card game. Were there any conversations that somebody on the staff or a veteran on the team had with him? I mean, he, he, he seems to have a lot of confidence naturally, but I'm wondering if there was a specific experience that, that uplifted him. Well, I think Larry talked to him a lot, and I'm sure some of the other guys got to him and talked to him. And, um, you know, the thing about this game is, you know, Derek Jeter said it great. He said, stay humble or this game will humble you. And... You really have to learn to bounce back in this game. And, and really anything in life, any sport, any, any job, you're, you're going to have your bad days and you got to learn to bounce back. And I think Seve understands that. Seve spent a whole year trying to bounce back last year and he figured it out. And it really turned about the last week in spring training for Seve. And I think that experience probably helped him. Other questions? Uh, right here. <laughs> Thanks. Um, You've been facing Justin Verlander for years. What 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 qualities stick out 
about about him? Oh, he's he's a fierce competitor. You know, besides the great stuff he has, I mean, he's got great stuff. He's got four pitches and throws hard, and they got great movement. And but he's going to fight and fight and fight, and that's who he is. And so, you know, our job is to fight him back. I mean, it's it's to match his competition level and 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 make him work and. He's very talented. He's pitched great since he's come over here. I, I believe he's seven and zero, and and um, has even elevated his game more. So, it's another challenge tomorrow. Anything else for Joe? Uh, Billy to your left, Joe. Just the the games that uh, Tanaka has pitched against the Astros. I mean, is there any uh, is there a tell for you to, tonight of just what he has to stay away from, or just a concern that? Yeah. Well, it's it, it's a dangerous offense. So again, you're going to have to you're going to have to locate with good movement. His slider's going to have to have good break. His split's going to have to have that good downward plane, like it did the last his last start, his last two starts. And if he does that, he's going to be able to compete. And it's like any other pitcher. If you don't have your A stuff against this lineup, they're probably going to make you pay. Other questions? All right, Joe. Thanks very much. All right, so uh, short and sweet. You know what it is? They're ready to play. That's all there is to it. Joe talking about the Astro lineup. We know all that. Joe talking about Keuchel and uh, Verlander. We got that, too. But you know what? It's time to let this series take shape, the drama of the last series. Now it's time for this series to take shape, and it will in the next couple hours in Houston. Keuchel against Tanaka.